Texas is behind a Nebraska push to get medical marijuana on the November ballot reached one goal but are still short of another. Brian Mastery is live in the newsroom with the breakdown. John Jacqueline, Nebraskans for Medical Marijuana is grassroots. It started several years ago as a number of parents in the metro were looking for other options for their children who were having epileptic seizures. Pharmaceuticals, those pills just weren't cutting it and the side effects were too hard to manage. In fact, the campaign manager is one of those moms. The petition process has a lot of rules. The campaign says it's reached one of the thresholds, signatures of at least 5% of the voters in 38 counties. But organizers also need 7% of registered voters, so that comes to 87,000. Organizers say they have 65,000 on each of the petitions and need 30,000 more in the last 27 days for a little extra padding just in case some get tossed out. This is the third attempt for medical marijuana in Nebraska. The Supreme Court blocked it in 2020. Two years ago, organizers didn't get enough signatures. This time, the hardest part, I'm told, is the competition. There are just so many petitions underway in Nebraska right now that it's cutthroat competition for the signature collectors. The grassroots folks get squeezed by the well-funded tax and abortion initiatives. Krista Eggers, whose son Colton still suffers debilitating seizures, says that her personal ask here is as a mother. It's that the people would react as if their child's life depends on it and go sign. Because for many of us, our child's life really does depend on it. Organizers say they are farther along now compared to past signature drives. Omaha and Lincoln's wine, beer and spirits have signature collectors every weekend and every weekday evening. Petitions are due July 3rd. On your side, Brian Mastry, 6 News. The Nebraska